the double lapel choke from the back. So when I have Lachlan's back, I want to have one hand under, then one hand over top. The hand that's over top will do the choking. The hand that's underneath is going to open up his jacket. See the lapel like this? This hand is fed the lapel. I put my thumb on the inside like so. Once I have this, then this hand reaches across for the other side. Here, this hand stays underneath the shoulder. From here, you see how this hand acts like a pillow. You see the bicep of this arm acts as the pillow for Lachlan. So this is the side that I bring Lachlan on. I always want to try and execute the choke from my side. From here, I'm going to pull with my feet and I'm going to straighten out both arms for the tap. Without Lachlan, here, what I want to do is I want to fall to my side. Which side? The arm that's over top of his shoulder. The bicep acts like the pillow. See, I have Lachlan here in my guard while executing here from the back. I'm going to extend my arms as I pull here my legs for the choke. So one more time with Lachlan here, controlling him. One arm under, one arm over top. The hand that's under here feeds the lapel to the hand that's underneath. One thumb on the inside like so, and then the thumb on this side goes underneath the jacket here. From here, do you see how I can't go to this side because that bicep is hidden by his shoulder. It ha I have to go to this side here. Remember, the arm acts as a pillow. The bicep acts like a pillow for, for Lachlan when he passes out. Here, I'm going to pull with my heels. I'm going to straighten up both my arms for the tap. Double the pelt choke from the back.